You can tell a lot about a person by the kind of TikToks they watch. Uh, so don't judge. Just take it all in and you will get a portrait of my personality, I guess. Let's get into it. This one's lovely and very short by at Bailey J Mills 99. Pussy Power Ranger here to save lives. Watch out, there's a bad boy. The Pussy Power Ranger, really? <laughs> this next one is from a kid that goes by at Yetus Cletus. I can't even say it. At Yetus Cletus 51. So I'm walking. There's a piece of lettuce. And if you turn around, another piece of lettuce. But guess what? Another piece of lettuce! You know. Sometimes in life you just find pieces of lettuce lying around. <laughs> okay, this next one by Juice AK goes out to all my siblings. <laughs> this next one by at Overload Comedy is awesome and I hope you uh, you just tell it to yourself over and over again. Bill, from the angle you're watching this right now. Oh my god, look at me. I am not beautiful at all. I am bloody gorgeous, okay? I am bloody gorgeous. You can't take me anymore. I am taken. Yes, I am married. I am so sorry for you. I am married. <laughs> <laughs> the laugh at the end is what really gets me. <laughs> this next one by at Otoko Yakisoba. I sent to my retired parents and they loved it. Mom, what do you have to say to people who says, my, your mother never gets out of the couch? First of all, I'm retired. Second, I'm chilling. <laughs> and third of all, there's a pandemic. <laughs> this next one by Anthony Bumba is very short and uh, it's just iconic. I just think about it all the time. Hey King, I don't know if you got the message, but I'm a fa- <laughs> And that's it. That's all it is. This one by at TPHRL. Uh, you know, just think about it next time you're outside after a rainy day. Zoo wee mama, I came outside and look at what the fuck I found. A goddamn puddle. Bitch, I'm about to- <laughs> Yeah, just that really extreme, like, angle. <laughs> Zoo wee mama. This one by at user 505, I'll just put it on screen, is so good. They are so funny. Let's get confident. Do you feel like shit? <laughs> Anyone <to> quit? <laughs> I just noticed the guy on the left <laughs> shimmying off. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, Let's starting over. Confident. Do you feel like shit? And you want to quit? No, girl. You're a bad bitch. <laughs> Are you feeling down? And you want to frown? No, boy. You're a bad bitch. Do you feel ugly? And not pretty? No, girl. You're a bad bitch. <laughs> Are you feeling scared? And unprepared? Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Cause they're bad bitches! <laughs> Snape, Snape! Severus Snape! Snape, Snape! What a choice! Severus Snape! I'm Severus Snape! I'll put a spell on you! Cause I'm a bad bitch! Snape is daddy! <laughs> if you, I mean, like, what else do you need if you're, if you're not feeling confident? <laughs> I rewatched this one the other day when I was kind of stressed and uh, it just sums up last year and this year so well. Shout out to SZA as well because I, I love the, the I love good days so much. Good day in my mind, need to get the fuck out the fucking house, sick of this town. Too soon I spoke, there go another trunk sign. Can you take that shit down? Got me bummed out, I need drugs now. I'm so, I'm so fucking tired of this shit. I'm an exhausted ass bitch. I gotta get the fuck out of this bitch! <laughs> Good. Oh, yes. Oh, that little, like, emotional smile at the end of just like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. This one by At Already Smallest is literally one of the most incredible vocal performances I have ever seen on TikTok. <laughs>
oh my God. For those of you that don't sing, like what she did was so difficult, not only because of the range, but just those key changes are meant to be unsingable. Like they, they, there's no sense to them. And she just went through and she just memorized the whole thing. Uh, it's so funny. This one by at NGXB is iconic. Uh, uh, once you hear it, you can't unhear it. <laughs> My goal in life is to accept compliments like that dog accepts that kind of applause. Just, yeah. Yeah, I know. This one's super simple, but I just think about it all the time whenever I'm working in the kitchen. It's so cute. Uh, very charming. Next, we have a TikTok superstar, Pudgy. Pudge, let me get a ow wah ow wah. Ow ow Yes, sir, ski. Ow ow. Let me kiss. For this next one, do not be concerned. It's not violent, I swear. Your comments about me wringing him out like a wet rag are cracking me up. Ferrets are very flexible. Me ringing him out like this doesn't hurt him at all. I like to wring out as much of the excess water as I can when I bathe him because it really helps reduce the dry time. And he is not hurt at all. He doesn't care. Uh, I, th I think I like this one because it reminds me of like old school YouTube in a weird way, just the way that she's presenting and like her slight accent, but like she's so happy to just like be on camera and like explaining how the ferret is okay. It's like informative, but also slightly cringy or something. And uh, yeah, and it's funny. This one's incredible by at Benny the horse girl. Just, just take it in, just take it in. Wow, you know? <laughs> this next one by at Rick Glassman is great because you can tell the family aren't like really pissed off, but like they're clearly getting on the nerves of, of this younger guy, this younger cousin. Yesterday, won a million yesterday. You had a million But yesterday? I definitely might. You're supposed to replenish. Listen. You take the car. You never replenish. I can't believe it. I never had any day after you've been here. What the fuck? And if you went downstairs in the basement and got a soda, <laughs> what was the fucking rule? You'd, uh, you'd replenish. Okay. Well, what the fuck, Danny doesn't fucking replenish. No, I, I listen. I think it's a microcosm of more serious things. But... <laughs> God, and the way the dad, the way the dad is like, what the fuck? Yeah. What the fuck? I thought you had anything. I thought you had a replenish. It's so good. Wow. Okay, so this first one is by at Saint. They didn't enable saving on the video, so I hope they're not mad that I'm sharing this. But I'm gonna... But I'm gonna... <laughs> Can you Google it? Wait, that's the actual thing? Definition. Women who possess this feature usually have a small waist that violently explodes into a round and juicy posterior. That's Google? Yeah. <laughs> but don't, 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 <laughs> explodes don't, don't, don't. into a round and juicy posterior. And then and then the best is later she starts saying badonkadonk to herself. <laughs> That's a very good superhero name. <laughs> okay, so this next one is super relatable because I've been in classes and I've definitely had a bunch of classes where I've been really tired. Um, Can I tell you something that's very embarrassing? Yes, please. I was listening to the story, right? My eyes started to close. I'm like, no, not this. Not this. And I, like, I was trying my hardest to keep them open. Things just went black. You know, like, that thing where, like, your body is telling you, like, you don't have a choice. You're just gonna go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> the teacher is so happened. like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, we all, we've happened. all been there. I'm there every time I wake up in the morning. I'm just like, no, not this. No, not this. This next one by at Ahmed from Dallas is great. 
Oh, yeah. I, I'm so sorry. I'm oh, no, so it's sorry. Fine, it's, fine. No, it's just fine. your your car. <gasps> I, yeah, oh my! Is it behind? Oh no! Oh, oh, oh my gosh! I'm let, so me, sorry. No, no, let me no, let me find I'm, my keys. No, oh my! It's okay. I'm in a meeting. I got, oh, oh, you're on a meeting. No, I'm so it's, sorry. It's, I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Let's okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I gotta get back to this. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Okay. 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 So sorry. Okay. I'm just gonna. Okay. Okay. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. That could also say Canadian roommates with anxiety. <laughs> this next one by at sar underscore carolyn isn't funny because the sister has like a neurological difference or whatever it's just like genuinely really fun so here we go hi baby hi hey goosey how's your drink delicious <laughs> hey pine cone yeah i just called you a pine cone i know that that's okay yeah <laughs> Your hands are sticky now. Thank you. <laughs> Microwave. She just goes Microwave. for the handshake. It's so cute. What? Microwave. What? Don't call me that. You're a microwave. Sarah. Hi, barnyard. Hi, chicken. <laughs> I love you, barnyard. Hi, <laughs> Bob. <laughs> hey, um, hey, toilet seat. Yeah. <laughs> Toilet seat? What? Can you go make my bed? No, put up a butt. <laughs> Scram. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's lovely. Her delivery is just the best. This next one is by some kids who go by at you in my boo is don't do that. Um, and it's called keeping up with the toxics. And uh, this is just a sample of some of the drama that they get up to. I am gay. Oh. <laughs> and you pissed on my front door. <laughs> it just has so many twists and turns. So this one girl, she thinks, so she just coughs. I don't know if they scripted this or if they just improvised it. It definitely has an improvised energy. But yeah, she coughs saying, you just gave it to me. Saying, you just made me gay. And then she turns away, right? Oh. And then, the kid, and then the kid throws his milk carton at her. Honestly, if you throw a milk carton at somebody, you win. You win. Even if it doesn't explode. Ugh. It was you. Sarah, that wasn't. And you pissed on my front door. And then, after throwing the milk carton, he'd already won. But she comes back to confront him and she's like, you pissed on my front door. <laughs> Which is... Wild. So the gay kid and Alyssa were hanging out together and the gay kid just went to piss on her door. It just has so many twists and turns. I, I love this TikTok. <laughs> At It's Dammy Wise has an excellent summary of every Disney uh, Channel movie. <laughs> Then again, is anything average when you're a student at Rivers Creek, Oakmont, Creek Crack, Woodchip High? Anyways, I think I'm gonna like it here. I really thought it was gonna be the end of the world when mom had to transfer jobs after dad died in that fatal car accident, but I think everything's gonna be okay. Oh yeah, and pro tip, if you ever see a nerd walking down the hallway with a dead frog on his head and an exploding pimple on his face, say hello. You never know, it could be your new best friend. Got a blast. Hey Candace, wait up. <laughs> There's just so many details to this one, so just rewatch it a bunch of times. I think one of the most brilliant details is the day Candace, the extra D's at the beginning of like certain phrases. And it's funny because it's like a Disney movie. So Disney's got the D's in front of the, uh, the words. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> this next one by at is that a chance is incredible. It's a whole story journey and the end is worth the wait. So are you tired of having fake friends but don't know which one is which? Then you need snake spray. Snake spray helps indicate which friends are fake, so you don't have to. Let's demonstrate. Here we have two friends. <laughs> He's a snake, but he don't know it. So let's find out what happened. Hey bro, so like, lately I feel like you're not a real friend. Like you a snake. I feel like you a snake, bro. You, nah. you been, been snake dissing, dog. No, bro. I done heard the rumors that you've been saying. 
Bro, I, I, heard, I heard you been talking down. Bro, I ain't say nothing. I know it's been you, bro. I don't know why you capped me. <laughs> so, so the idea is that with snake spray, if you spray a snake, they disappear. <laughs> it's impossible to explain to you why I find this so funny. There's so many good details. He like checks the nozzle to be like, is it open? And then sprays it. <sighs> I, I really hope it's not just me and somebody else finds that hysterical so like snake spray maybe no one else will find this as funny as i do but goddamn uh at blueforia bands they struck gold with this weird improvised commercial have you ever been sitting on the couch with your friend and he puts his hand on your thigh and you start thinking to yourself <laughs> will my girlfriend ever really find out that's what it feels like to eat right <laughs> <laughs> what is that ending? Will my girlfriend ever really find out that's what it feels like to eat Wrangler? <laughs> to eat Wrangler? Okay, this next one by Ugh, Livia is a little violent, but I, I also think about this one a lot. There's blood on the bed at my Airbnb. And I can't tell if it's my blood or someone else's. I gotta make this commercial that she's doing the voiceover for, so... Here you go. There's blood on the bed at my Airbnb, and I can't tell if it's my blood or someone else's. But either way, I'm gonna clean it up because blood is just blood, and soap does soap's job. Soap for blood in the sheets of your Airbnb. Uh, so this next one isn't particularly funny, but it's it's really interesting. It's by at the Jeffrey Marsh and. Uh, I'll just I'll just let it play. I'll let it speak for itself. By the looks of you. So this hate is not about my soul. It's not about my beliefs. It's not about my heart. It's not about the way I treat people. <laughs> it is based on a series of assumptions around how I look. S try to see. I'll take a couple seconds. Try to see if I deserve respect. If you can see my humanity in the face of hate, I hope you're reminded of your humanity. It just, it's, it so sums up something I try to talk about on the podcast all the time of just like, yeah, being a human being and being able to face other people and being able to like empathize with people. And yeah, it's just a brilliant way of just like saying like, hey, I know I may not look like what you expect people to look, but that kind of doesn't matter. Um, yeah, that video is awesome. This next one by at Carrie 1956 isn't especially funny, but I think it's really beautiful. It's a great story. Hi everybody, Nana here. I had an English teacher that announced at the beginning of the year that he never gave out an A. He might give out a, a small A, but your paper had to be perfect. That being said, he assigned a paper written on a memory you had in your childhood. Well, you know my childhood, good Lord. Remember back in the day, there was no mandatory reporting of child abuse. Therefore, when he gave me my paper back, he knelt down by my desk, looked me straight in the eye, and he said, you're gonna be all right. Then he turned the paper over and I had a big ass A. I still have that paper somewhere. Wished I could find it. I guess the reason that one strikes such a chord is because it reminds me of like how different the conversation around relationships was for previous generations and how like <clears throat> very often I'll take for granted my experiences of therapy and reading and psychology and whatever. Um, and just be like, oh, well, like everyone is interested in healthy, loving relationships and like the betterment of society and not everybody is. And like at that time, I don't know, just the way she tells that story seems like she's made her peace with that period and is also very thankful for that teacher because that teacher was also doing their best at the time. 
yeah, it's just, it's fascinating. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed those. And uh, if you want to follow me on TikTok, it's at David Georgia. I'll put that on screen. I make very dumb TikToks. I don't really put a lot of effort into them because I got I got other shit going on right now, but I, I wanted to make this because I love the app. See ya. Yeah.